about these other cells? Do we want to like pop an observation hive? Something's going to come out of them and it might be very interesting. And that is exactly what we did. So join us on this little journey as we see what our observation hive turned out to be. Oh, it was interesting. So we are one day out on our observation hive. It doesn't look like the queens have hatched yet. They are clustered in one little area. And I believe someone is investigating my arm. I can get in focus. One problem we have with this style of observation hive is it only fits the one frame. And there's no emerging brood. So that's a problem. I might have to figure out how to add nurse bees, because I'm sure that the, the uh, field force bees that were in here have kind of gone back to their parent colony. Well, we'll see. raining this morning, they don't seem to be down by the queen cells anymore. And one of them might be emerged. Hard to say. Let me see if I can, well, let's just look up through the bees here. Not seeing anything on this side and uh, I'm not going to disturb them but that cell looks like it might be open so we might have a queen in here we'll find out tomorrow day four this, this is the other side of the hive and uh, they're thicker on this side it's very hard to see if there there might be someone in there I see a little waggle dance there Although it's been rainy, so they're not out flying. But there's areas where they're a little thick. It's hard to say because there's someone whose wings are awfully short underneath there. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's just a regular bee. All right. But they're a couple of layers deep, so it's really hard to say. Um, down here, that one cell definitely looks very emerged. The other cell almost looks abandoned. So I don't know what to make of these guys, whether they've done anything. Not all queen cells hatch. And these were not the first emerged cells. Normally the first emerged queen kills off the other queen cells. There was no indication that these cells were damaged, but it's very well possible that she didn't bother because she already knew that the queens in them were non-viable. In any case, I'm still not seeing a queen in here or they have her very buried. So it's really hard to say, but here we are on day five. I'm not seeing any drop as in dead bees at the bottom. So I'm gonna let them go a couple more days and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> the way they're layered in there it could very well be there's a queen hiding in there. Hard to say, but I certainly haven't seen one. 
So for about a week or so, I was tied up with the concert. I looked in a couple of times and it didn't look like much was happening. They were peaceful and they were happy. So here we are about 15 days out and I figured, you know what, I better take a look because otherwise, you know, they might be dying off. I might have to return them to their hive, uh, their parent hive, but they surprised me. We have a queen in our observation hive. It's crazy. We actually have brood. On the other side, there's actually a bunch of cap brood and there's eggs and larvae here. This is wild.